Okay, viewers, in a previous video, I showed you how to open a bike cable lock like this with the little combination wheels where you don't know the combination. And th that method in that video works pretty well. It works on most uh, locks like this. Uh, and I'll include a link to that video in the description of this one. But when you get to a little bit better quality locks, like this is a master lock here, uh, they've started adding some stuff in there that makes uh, that method not work quite as well. On that method, you turn the wheels until you find little catch points in there. And after you find all four catch points, then boom, the lock opens. You can do it uh, like blindfolded on a lot of locks. Um, but the problem is on the, some of these uh, better locks here, there's actually multiple catch points. And so there's some more steps involved in order to open those and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, in fact this lock here came uh, with a bike I bought and so when I got it I did not know the combination. So using this method is how I got the combination for this lock and I'm going to show you how to do it. So um, what you can do is you want to uh, pull this apart here uh, with some resistance, you know, uh, some pressure uh, and you want to be able to vary the pressure. So uh, uh, you might want to like a little harder, a little softer and so what you want to do is hard enough that you uh, get the little catch points in there but not so hard that you just can't turn the wheel so what you can do is you pick a wheel and I'm gonna start with this first one right here and I'm gonna rotate this around and try to find the multiple catch points I'm gonna make a little list here so one two three four these are for each of the wheels and I actually this is gonna be uh, wheel number four here so I'm going to put pressure, so I'm going to just kind of push over here with my thumb. And you, you, another thing, you might have to uh, grab this with your foot and kind of pull the cable. And uh, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to turn this wheel and try to find the little points where it kind of catches and sticks. And if it's not catching, then you probably need to put more pressure. So... And it kind of catches here at the 9. Here's the little line there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record down the numbers uh, where it catches 9. Then rotate it around here. And it kind of caught at that 0. That little dot there is a 0. Three. Kind of catches a little bit at that seven. And so I'm back to kind of like where I started here. Catches the nine, the zero kind of catches. And I'll try to find which number it catches on the most. Like one or two numbers may catch more than the other numbers. So you want to kind of mark those down. That zero catches pretty good, so I'll put a little star by the zero there. And the seven kind of catches a little bit, so I'll put a little star there. And so what I want to do is do that uh, for each wheel in turn until I have the various uh, catch points for each wheel, and they'll put little stars by the ones that catch the most. Okay, so now that I've built up a list of uh, numbers where the dials sort of catch while I, I'm turning them and I have them on pressure there, um, I want to start trying combinations of these. So what I'll do is I'll set the first number here to, to 9. I'm going to start with the ones that have the stars next to them here first and go through those because those are the ones, the most likely ones. So I'll start with uh, 9 in the first uh, dial here. Uh, five, nine, like this, and then zero, like this, and then I pull that apart. Okay, so that doesn't work, and so then I'll just start going through the thing there. So uh, I'll try seven, that doesn't work, and so then I'll go here, uh, zero, and then try the zero there and I was at the seven so that doesn't open there so nine five zero seven zero zero so I'll go to the next uh, thing here I'll try zero there and so let me see uh, nine and uh, zero that doesn't work so I'll try uh, zero here 
Boom, and there it's open there. So the combination is nine zero zero zero. So basically nine zero zero zero. So I, just by finding those catch points, finding the ones that, where it catches the most and trying those, and if that doesn't open it, then you can go on and start trying some of these other uh, ones and going off and trying various permutations of that until you finally find the combination with the lock. And now, for before you post that, uh, gee, I'm helping bike thieves uh, steal bikes. Uh, if they really want to steal your bike, they're just going with a cable cutter. Boom, cut the cable. Boom, they're gone in two seconds. They're not going to mess around with trying to figure out the combination of the lock. Anyway, I hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the little icon over there. You can subscribe and see uh, videos that come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a web page, RJTheBikeGuy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page. I have videos categorized, I have forums. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.